Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in this one we're going to be checking out the freaking giant bee. <laughs> this thing was just added to the Arc Dev Kit today. So we're going to be checking him out, talking about what it can do and how it will fit into Arc. And uh, yeah, I hope you will enjoy this video. And if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point, be sure to beat the crap out of that like button. It really helps me out. So let's just take a step back and just, just look at this thing. It looks insane. The sizing and everything to do with it, um, that is probably, like, it's it could easily undergo some changes. Like, that is the size against a human right there, as you can see. So, like, if that was fully standing on the ground, we'd be a little bit taller, but that thing's pretty freaking big anyway. So, it's probably around the same size as a spider, maybe, like, it's, it's but what is this thing called again? The abdomen, maybe? I don't even know. Is that what it's called on a bug? I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway... So, let's just have a look at the detail here. So, it's got its little feelers down here. It's little tongue to collect the, uh, to like drink up the honey and stuff and eat. Looks freaking cool. So let's just try and get like a decent view. Okay, you can kind of see there. Nice. And it's got all these like spikes underneath as well. Now I imagine when the final model is done with all the texture and everything, it's gonna have like hair on it like it does in the dossier, uh, which I'll throw up in a couple minutes. But this thing, will likely have those like hairs and everything on it and it's gonna have like really cool colors as well obviously just general bee colors really it's probably not gonna have any variation um but wow it looks freaking cool so we're gonna move on to the animations here after we've we've just looked at this thing for ages <laughs> so this one right here is the uh i believe this is the bite animation so he can bite he's got a bite attack as you can see or she even it's always a queen so let's actually just go into slow-mo As you can see, so it just comes forward with the uh, with the little what are they even called? Teeth? No, it's probably not teeth. There's there's a word for it. I I don't know the word. <laughs> so as you can see, it just it just lunges forward with those and gets a nice little sting in there, a little bite. Now I imagine that the stinger at the back will obviously do some sort of like a torpor attack or else a stamina draining attack. It, it, it is said to actually poison the drones are anyway. It's gonna be surrounded by drones by the way, but I don't I can't find them in here So I don't think they're actually done yet But uh, yeah, so I'll go over all the stuff to do with the nest and everything in a couple minutes But let's just look at the animations here. So this is the sting animation I, ha I had to actually lift them all off the ground because the stinger was going into the ground, which is kind of weird So looks pretty freaking cool. He basically she just lunges her I guess her back, she kind of just backs up and, and stings you bit, pretty much, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't really move much besides that, but the legs, like, they kind of just, like, bounce it up and down. It looks cool. Okay, let's move on here. Uh, now, I believe this is the eating animation, as you can probably tell. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I never noticed that. That is disgusting. Let me see. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that's not okay. That is like the weirdest thing. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That is strange. Okay, so then we're gonna go into all the like flying animation. So this is flying sting. Actually, you know what? We might as well fly too. So this is the flying sting attack. So obviously you can do it on the ground, it can do it in the air, which is pretty cool. It looks amazing. And then this is just flying forward. As you can see, pretty pretty steady in the body, and then the wings are just like flapping. Looks amazing. And one thing I gotta say about this thing is that it's a little antenna here. Like, holy crap! They they just they're always moving. They're just always moving. They have that like a little sway. They're like it's trying to figure out where to go. <laughs> That's one thing I gotta say about the model. That is like a really nice touch. Obviously, they couldn't they couldn't do without that, but still, it looks great. And it works really well. Now this is it flying and being hurt, so as you can see it kind of just like ducks to the side there after being hurt, it's like wincing in pain, and then this, that's actually a lot of pain right there, and then this is a little bit of pain. And then right here is just idle flying, which I think looks really cool. It's just nice to watch. It looks great. <laughs> And then this is uh, flying just to like the left and the right, as you can see. 
pretty pretty much the exact same as just flying forward but it's just like turned to one side obviously just thought I might show anyway and that's the other one there and this is just idle on the ground let's move up a little bit here so it's just you know it's just chilling <laughs> it's not doing that weird tongue thing again that was really weird I didn't like that and then this is taking off which is cool uh, right here we have egg laying so this thing actually will be able to lay eggs and make a nest and everything so I don't know if there's gonna be like a specific a specific animation for making the nest but I imagine we're gonna just have like the model of the nest probably just appear beside it after like a prolonged amount of time or something like that but I uh, yeah, pretty much just like ducks back and poops it out of somewhere <laughs> looks cool though and then this is just walking on the ground which I don't know, like, that's a really fluid movement. It looks great. Looks awesome. And then this is left and right. Looks pretty cool. Its head is, like, really far down, but you gotta, I guess you also gotta take into consideration that its, uh, its eyes are pretty much, like, its whole face, so it doesn't really matter. And I believe this is getting hurt on the ground. So it looks amazing. I, I gotta say, like this this thing, like the model, the animations, it looks absolutely fantastic. Can, I cannot wait to see this thing in the game. I'm just wondering if it's actually going to be this big, or if they're making, like maybe making it smaller, or maybe maybe making it bigger. I, I don't even. It's kind of hard to tell at this stage because they kind of they just keep changing the sizes of the dinos. Like the giant squid was not supposed to be that giant. It was supposed to be like a lot smaller and then they made a last minute change to make it like massive. <laughs> um, I believe this is uh... You know what? Maybe this one was taking off. Wait, no, no. This one is landing actually. Looks pretty cool. And then this is it knocked out. So this will be obviously a knockout feeding tame. So these things you know they they eat like flower like plant plant matter and everything like that I th it's like a floor of or something i don't even know what it's called um so i imagine you're either gonna have to feed it like um rare flowers or else probably i guess tree sap maybe tree sap could possibly work or maybe you're gonna have to actually get some honey from the nest and uh oh god that's really weird i don't like that tongue stop doing that <laughs> You might actually have to get some honey from the nest and feed it with that. I'm not really sure. And speaking of the nest, there is no model for the nest. I had a look. Couldn't find anything. I mean, like, I had a good look. So if anybody actually comes across that, definitely let me know. And actually, as well, if anybody comes across anything new in the Ark Dev Kit, if you look at that stuff, definitely let me know. So uh, this right here, <laughs> I just blew up, like, the size of it. It's not actually going to be this big. I'm not trying to clickbait my video, <laughs> but uh, I just thought I'd blow up the size of it just to talk about the detail and everything, or just mainly to look at it while we talk about what this creature actually does. So you're gonna be able to find this guy in, or this girl, I guess it's a queen. <laughs> you're gonna be able to find this creature within the redwood forest, and it's either gonna have its nest in a tree or on a cliffside. And uh, basically around the nest, you have a bunch of drones, which are probably just smaller bees, worker bees, basically. And uh, they're just going to be protecting the, the nest at pretty much all times. And obviously, if you try to attack it, they're going to come straight after you. Or if you try to attack their queen. So uh, they're, they're going to be like a different creature. And you're not allowed to tame those. So you can only tame these guys right here, the, uh, the actual queen themselves. Um, so obviously, like, stings from one of these things, it's going to cause a uh, either... I, I, I don't know if it's actually going to be like a torpor, it might just be a stamina loss. It said on the dossier that, uh, actually, you know what, let's throw the dossier open right now. There we go. <laughs> so it says on the dossier that they actually, the stings cause like uh, your creatures to become weakened. So usually that means, like when you read that in the dossier, is usually that means that the creature will get poisoned, which means that their stamina just drains down. So if you're riding on something and you get stung, it's going to stop moving pretty soon. <laughs> Uh, which is usually what happens when a bunch of bees attack. So, 
what happens when you tame this queen? Well, first of all, actually, you got to break into the nest to actually get to the queen. And we'll talk about methods to maybe do that in a minute. But you got to break into the nest and uh, you got to pretty much fight your way through the army of drones to get to the queen. And I guess when you get to her, you probably just knock her out, maybe. Uh, it didn't really say anything about that. The taming method is just, its it doesn't say anything about that at all. But uh, as soon as you have this, this queen tamed, and I'm not sure if her current drones will become yours, but any drones that she produces through laying eggs or making and making a nest as well, which she'll do for you, um, all those drones will become yours, which is, which is super cool. Well, like technically they're not yours, they're hers because they're not actually tamed to you, they're tamed to her. It's kind of, it's like gonna be the first creature besides a boss creature that can actually summon in or produce other creatures that only are loyal to it. So, I mean, like, that's pretty freaking cool. I can't wait to see that. And, um, I don't know, like, it's gonna be cool to just have, like, an army of, like, of bees <laughs> and just go in and attack somebody. Or just do a bunch of trolling scenes, they can probably drain your cre creature staminas, so you could just like do a lot of trolling if you wanted to. But uh, as well, also, there's going to be a beekeeper costume, <laughs> which sounds like the most ridiculous thing ever. But you're going to need that to actually get to the queen, probably at the very start, unless I guess you're going to have to put up with like a bunch of stings and dying a couple of times. But you're most likely going to need that to actually get to the queen originally and then also around her drones you're also going to need it then um so obviously her drones can sting you which is kind of bad i don't i don't think your creatures would aggro onto the drones would they i really doubt it actually huh that's actually something interesting um hmm i don't think they would to be honest i don't know um but the drones once they're tamed to her like when you have her tamed they can actually sting you apparently so you have to wear this beekeeper costume around her or around her drones as well so probably just make a room to put her nest or i don't know what way the nest is even going to spawn it might you might actually have to be beside a tree like a redwood forest or something or maybe beside a cliff but either way make like a little pen for her put her in and she will produce honey inside of this nest for you which is going to be pretty good because you can use honey to bait wild creatures because of the scent of it and uh, that's gonna be handy for taming and also just killing a couple creatures I guess as well um, and I guess also for trolling if you want to drag a bunch of wild creatures over to somebody's base <laughs> so that's pretty much it guys that is pretty much it so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to beat the crap out of that like button and if you guys want to see more dev kit videos or anything like that definitely subscribe because we have more of that on the channel and we have more coming too and uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Also, let me know. Are you excited for this? I am. I definitely am. <laughs> All right. See ya.